I'm excited for today's recipe because we are making meatloaf without an oven. One of us suggested that recipe and I thought why not because that's something you can do without an oven but I want to show you how I did it so that our meatloaf cooked through and it was really delicious and really delightful. Please join me. Welcome to Recipes and Hospitality with Clara. This is a channel where we share recipes that are simple, easy to do at home with ingredients toned down just like this one to enhance your hospitality for the glory of God. And if you're new here and this is the kind of content you like, kindly consider subscribing, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload new content. I upload this kind of content that is very simple to make with ingredients that are most likely available where you are and thankfully no bake so that with or without an oven you can work on this delightful recipe and enjoy. As is always our custom on this channel we will pray and trust the Lord to grant us a fruitful time as well as creativity in the kitchen. Indeed, Father, we trust you to be with us, to grant us your help and your fruitfulness as we work on this recipe. Please be with me, please be with my viewer, and grant us your help, your creativity in the kitchen so that with this recipe and everything else we do, we will glorify you with our hospitality in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's begin by working on our sauce. I have juice of one large lemon in a bowl. I am adding in two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Then I will add in two tablespoons of water. I will then add in a quarter a teaspoon of black pepper. If you like very hot food, you can add in more. And then half a cup of ketchup together with a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of ginger powder. Then one tablespoon of brown sugar and if you don't have brown sugar like me, I just grated my jaggery. You, I hope you know what jaggery is. It's just a block of unrefined sugar or what we call skaringuru in our country. So I will mix that up until everything is mixed together evenly and well and then set aside. We will now begin working on our ground beef. In a suitable bowl mix the ground beef, our chopped onions, I chopped them really finely and then add in your grated fresh garlic. Add in your half cup of oats, I am using traditional oats but the better option, of course, is bread crumbs, but if you don't have bread crumbs, you can use oats. Then I've added in my salt. I've added in some black pepper as well. So go ahead and uh, make a slight well and add in your egg. We will now knead this mixture until all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. Once you're done kneading, set aside. I went ahead and washed my hands and got my pan. Get a pan that is heavy because now that we are not baking in the oven, we don't want our meat to burn before it's ready. So this particular pan of mine is really heavy. I'm going ahead to line it with foil paper and ensure to leave some extra foil paper on the edges because we, we will need to cover our meatloaf when it is baking without an oven as you will see me do. So you can see I have left some extra foil paper on the edges. We will transfer our meat or ground beef into this pan and then we will shape it into the shape of a loaf. 
Of course, it will not come out perfectly like the one you will do in the oven because when you're covering it, uh, the shape might be interfered with, but it will still cook really well. So having shaped it, I will, go, I will go ahead and drizzle our sauce. Most of it, I will leave slightly less than half of it so that we will drizzle towards the end when our loaf has baked. But for now, I am drizzling most of it and just leaving slightly less than half so that we work with it towards the end. So once I have drizzled and covered my meat loaf, with the sauce, we will now go ahead and cover it with our foil paper. So carefully cover because remember the meat is not yet firm. So like I said, this process will actually interfere a little with the shape, but it's still okay. We need to have the heat trapped into the meat so that it can cook as evenly as possible now that we are not baking it in the oven. So once you've done this, cover and then we will transfer it to our gas top. So that's my leftover sauce. So we will set it aside. We will get to use it later. So that's our pan on our gas cooker i will leave it on hot flame for about one minute because my pan is really heavy and i want it to get hot so if it's not too heavy but i hope yours is also heavy at least give it 30 seconds to one minute so that it gets really hot and then reduce it not the natural way it has been designed by your manufacturer to get to its lowest because that's still too high Take it as though you're switching off and reduce it to the lowest, the kind that if you blew on it, it would actually go off if you blew on it really hard. This is the kind that will bake your loaf and we will begin by baking it for 40 minutes. This is 40 minutes later and it's cooking. We can the juices have actually started seeping out so what I will do after 40 minutes I will turn it over you can use a glove and probably later wash it if you struggle with a lot of heat on your hands I am personally just working with my hands and turning it over because we want to be sure that it will cook through so we will give it 20 minutes on that side Next, we will uncover it after 20 minutes and turn it on one of the sides as you can see me do and then we will give it 10 minutes. This is 10 minutes later, we will again turn it on the other side where we haven't turned it on and give it another 10 minutes. So this is 10 minutes later. So you can see we have done a total of one hour, 20 minutes. This is taking slightly longer because it's on top of your gas cooker and you want to be sure your meatloaf has cooked through, but usually in the oven, it should take about one hour. So you can see how it looks, looks very nice. And I can tell it's cooked on the inside. So we will get our sauce and drizzle it the remaining sauce on this surface once we have drizzled it on the surface we will now cover and allow it about 10 to 15 minutes just to get our sauce to also cook through and then it will be ready we are done with our meatloaf and i can tell you it it's it's just looking nice of course it's just made the kitchen smell really really beautifully and we are all looking forward to having a taste of our meatloaf that we have done without an oven and it worked really well but like i told you it may not be perfectly shaped but 
it is meatloaf all the same and you will enjoy it so you can make your meatloaf with or without an oven so i transferred it onto this plate but you can just cut it up while it is in your foil paper you saw me loosening it just to be sure it doesn't stick on the foil paper but i transferred it here for presentation purposes but you can just cut it up while it is still on your foil paper so cut carefully with a very sharp knife so that it can keep intact but i can tell you it's intact and a really delightful looking but you just want to be sure that your knife is sharp so that you don't i mean you have those very nice slices to go either with your sandwich or with a meal that you really enjoy so those are the slices of the meatloaf. We really loved this particular meatloaf. We actually had it twice as sandwiches the next day for lunch. And this evening we had it with some bajiyas. Of course, we have several bajia recipes on the channel. You can check them out. And I'm certain when you try this meatloaf accompanied by something you love, you too will enjoy it. It was really delightful. We really, really enjoyed that recipe and I'm certain when you try it out, you will also enjoy it. As you can see, whether you have an oven or not, you can work on this recipe and enjoy it a great deal. You could check out this particular recipe here that I'm certain you will also enjoy. And uh, this playlist here of our bajias, just in case you saw those bajias and you would love to make bajias for yourself, you can also check out this particular recipe. So thank you so much for joining me. Look out for our next recipe. Again, another simple, easy one to make that I'm also certain you will enjoy. So see you in that next video and see you in either of these videos that you will choose to watch.